Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to Room 9, the region's largest classroom. It's Dr. Sanders in here, ready to teach some ELA and K to all of my pre-K and K. I said ELA and K. ELA and math to all my pre-K and K students in the largest classroom in the region. But it doesn't matter if you're what, two or 102, I hope that you have some fun, F-U-N, fun, and you learn something. So let's get started by looking at our objectives for today. Uh, for the week that we had, <laughs> let's look at our objectives. Um, use rhyming words and answer simple comprehension questions. Understand relationships between numbers and counting, subitizing, and cardinality. Today, we're going to start with some counting. Counting the numbers on our number chart. If you're ready, give me a thumbs up. All right, let's go. We're going to count from zero to 100 by ones. Oh, let's take up. Do you like how my hat matches my shirt? That's right. This is Black History Month, and all week we'll be talking about black excellence. And I wanted to show we have a lot of excellent people, but I went to check it out. All right. Here we go. Zero. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whisper it. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Sing it. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Regular voice, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Pass. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Boys, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Girls, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. 70. Girls again, because I messed you all up, didn't I? 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. Everybody! 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. Start real low, and then we get loud when we get to 100. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Now we're going to count from 0 to 50 by 2s. 0 to 50 by 2s. Zero. Remember, all my twos are the yellow letter, le little, 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 yellow letters, <laughs> yellow numbers. Here we go. Zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. We're getting better at that. We'll be good. We'll be real good at it as we continue to work on it. 
Now we're going to count from zero to 100 by fives. Here we go. Zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Now we're gonna count from zero to 100 by tens. Zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Now we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, do our little blast off, right? We're gonna count backwards from 10 to zero. And as you go up, and when you're counting backwards, like when we count forward, it's like adding, right? When we're counting backwards, it's like what? Subtracting. So we're like subtracting by ones. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Blast off! Blast off! Where are you going? Now we're going to count from zero to ten by in Spanish. We're going to count to zero to ten in Spanish. Cero, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, diez. Let's talk about some super ties Super ties in. When I show you this flash, you this number, you better, you can tell me what it is. What number is this? You didn't count it, did you? No, that's the number what? Four. You are right. That was the number four. Let's make sure. One, two, three, four. How many did we just count? Four. That's cardinality where you know how many is in the set. So super ties in if you just know it. And cardinality is you count it and you know the last number that you counted. So, what number is this? Ooh, I see some, I hear some, yes, you're right, that's the number three. That's the number three. Let's, let's look at it again to make sure. One, two, now we can count them. One, two, three. Yes, that's the number three. You are correct. What number is this? Did you count them? Or did you just know because you just, you can see them and see, and see the pattern, right? Yes, that's the number two. That's the number two. Let's make sure. One, two. How many did we have? Two. That's that cardinality. You know how many was in that set after we counted them. You are who anybody ever told you you are was super smart? If they didn't, they 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 just haven't told you yet. They haven't told you yet because you all are super duper uber 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 uber, 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 uber smart. All right. And what about this number right here? Hmm. Did you see that pattern? Oh, you want you need to see it again? Okay. Hold on. Here we go. All right, did you count them or did you just know? You, you kind of remembered in your head. Okay, you're right. That was the number five. You are correct. That was the number five. Let's look at this and count them to make sure we were right. One, two, three, four, five. That was five. And how many were in our set? Five. You knew that five were in that set. You are correct. What number is this? How many did you see? One. Who's number one? Say, I'm number one. You are number one. Number one, that is correct. I'm going to show you something, and I want you to tell me. We're going to do, um, remember, supertizing is just you can tell by looking, right? 
We're going to do one where you have to uh, cardinality, where you got to tell how many are in the set, how many you counted last. I wanted to show you my famous, ow, my magnet board. And see, I had to put on my glasses so I could see what I was looking for, right? I got some new glasses. Do you like my new glasses? I like them a little bit. They help me see a little bit better. All right, on my magnetic board, I'm going to put some magnets on there. And I need you to help me count my magnets. And we're going to find out after you count them, you're going to tell me how many did you count. All right, take a look at there. <laughs> take a look at the board. I need you to count them. You can point to them and count them. All right, let's count on the, how many of these you count? No, more than seven. Let's see, okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, so how many did I count? Eight, there were eight in my set. There were eight in my set. All right, let's try one more. So the, the last number you counted is the one. Let's take a look at this. Let's count them. This is like a 10 frame, right? Yes, this is five up here and five up here. So you know that's 10, but let's count them to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10. 11. That's right. 11. So how many were on there? 11. So what was the last? Right. 11. Remember you count them and then you say, how many were in my set? That's right. There was 11. And then you can let's show the little cardinality. And I hope I'm right using the term right. All right, everybody stand up. Stand up. Jump up and down five times. Go. One, two, three, four, five. All right, one hand raise the roof. Go one, five times. One, two, three, four, five. Other hand raise the roof. Go one, two, three, four, five. Two hand raise the roof. Go one, two, three, four, five. Do the wave in front of you. Go one, two, three, four, five. Five jumping jacks. Go one, two. Three, four, five. Dab six times. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hit the cabbage backs four times. Go. One, two, three, four, five. All right, smile for three seconds. Go. Oh, that was more. You got some beautiful smiles. I couldn't stop looking. And sit down on three. Go. One, two, three. Up, down, up, down. Sit right down on the ground. Or in your seat or on your chair. It doesn't matter where. Just have a seat. All right, boys and girls, we've been talking. I'm going to take my glasses off because I can see you all now. We've been talking about this amazing woman who started this amazing amazing hair care products uh, she was an entrepreneur amazing business in st louis what was her name annie malone annie malone she also helped uh she donated a lot of her money to um charity and to an orphanage called that uh, and and they renamed it the annie malone's children's home it was the st louis orphanage which was started back in 1888 but in 1946 i think they renamed it the annie malone children's home or it's St. Louis uh, Annie Malone Children and Family Services Home. And that's a picture of that. And she also started a college where people used to go to learn how to do some beautiful things to her. And it was Poor Old College and we're all around the nation. And we've been reading books that um, one of a St. Louis author named Shawana Chadwick and Chauncey Chadwick gave me permission to read their books. And it's all, it's, it has Annie Malone and her characters in there. And it just talks, it talks about some, 
in the back of the book, it talks about some of the things she did and where she lived and how she helped the Ville, which is one of the greatest na um, neighborhoods in the, in the in the United States and definitely in Missouri and in St. Louis and um, how she built that up at the time. But let's read this book. It's called Annie Malone's One, Two, Threes. Annie Malone's One, Two, Threes. As we're listening, I would like you to... Um, I would like you to think about what you saw in the book, what you see in the book, um, and I want you to think about what are the who were the characters in the book or any characters that you may remember, and also I would like you to think about hmm, what is something that Annie Malone did? Okay, what something Annie Malone did? What, who were the characters in the book? And I forgot the third question. Right, we'll figure it out once we get there, right? Here we go. Annie Malone's one, two, threes. I had it written down, but I don't want to. I didn't, I'm, let's see if you remember it. Here we go. Annie Malone's one, two, threes. The author is Dr. Shawana Ch Trawick and Chauncey Trawick. And it's illustrated by... Thames Ellis. What does the author do? The author writes the words in the story. I like how you uh, how you answered in a sentence. This is the what? Spine. This is the back cover. This is the front cover. And Miss Annie Malone, she's a symbol of black excellence. You're right. Doing this Black History Month. Annie Malone's one, two, threes. Don't forget about our title page. One day, Annie had an idea for children and orphans. She wanted to teach them how to count to ten. Annie called and asked friends to donate gifts. They said yes. Annie donated one big box to hold all of the gifts. One big box. She donated two, uh, I'm sorry, said Sid the Scout so Skin and Scout so donated two bottles of bubbles. Two bottles of bubbles. Patty the Pressing Cone donated three jump ropes. One, two, three jump ropes. Harry the Hagaror donated four cars. One, two, one, two, three, four toy cars. Maxie the Mirror donated five toy rings. Ooh, those look like candy rings. One, two, three, four, five toy rings. Coco donated six baby dolls. Coco, who was Coco? The cold cream donated six baby dolls. One, one, two, three, four, five, six baby dolls. Danny the deodorant donated a seven piece train set. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. Sid, the skin and scalps, so donated eight teddy bears. Do you like teddy bears? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Harry the Hair Grower donated nine toy airplanes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Patty the Pressing Comb donated ten jacks. Have you ever played jacks with a ball? Ooh, that's a fun game. Ask your grown-ups about it. Ten. Five plus five is ten. And a ball. You need a ball to play. It was fun counting to ten with Annie and her friends. All right, do you are you you ready to answer my questions? What was one of Annie's friends' names? Coco the cold cream, yes. Patty the pressing cone, yes. Who wants some real long hair? Harry the hair grower, yes. What about when you get just see the what soap? And Danny the deodorant, <laughs> Ooh. make you smell good. That deodorant make you smell good. What is something, um, answer this question. What did Coco donate? You remember one thing that Coco donated? Ooh, I'll, I'll help you out. Baby dolls, you remember how many? She donated six baby dolls. All right, boy, uh, let's, let's move on to our next what we're doing next, we're going to look at our friends' names. We're going to count the letters in their names. Whose name is this? That's Ruby's name. Let's count Ruby's letters. One, two, three, four. Ruby, hi, Ruby. And whose name is this? That's Harper's name. Let's count our letters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hi, Harper, and thank you for sending Ruby's letter in, or name in. Whose name is this? Van, let's count her letters. One, two, three. Hi, Miss Van. And whose name is this? Sir, let's count his letters. S-I-R-R. -R. Sir, I mean, four. I mean, let's count his letters. One, two, three, four. He has four letters in his name. Um, thank you all for sending your names in or asking for your names to be said. Remember, hashtag 9PBS to get them heard or read online or on, on the air. Let's look at our, our words, our words. Are you ready? I'm going to tell you the sound. You tell me the word. Ah, ah. Write it in the air. What letter makes that sound? That's right, the letter A. Zzz, zzz, zzz. Can you write it in the letter? Let, write it in the air. What letter makes that sound? Right, the letter Z. Oh, the letter Z. All right. Mm. Mm, like it love and like it lollipop and lip and like. Mm. What letter makes that sound? That's right. Make it in the air. Pull down. Start right. That's right. The letter L. And what letter? Oh, what matter? What? Mm, 
Mmm, what letter makes that sound? Mmm. Draw it in the air. That's right, the letter N. The letter N. And. What letter makes that sound? Draw it in the air. The letter X, X, the letter X. Let's look at our sight words that we were looking at for the week. Let's look at our sight words for the week. Here we go. What word is this? Big, big. Let's spell big, big, B I G, big, big rhymes with what? Wig, big wig. All right, let's. Our next word is under, under. Let's spell under, under. U N D E R. What words rhyme with under? What word? What word rhymes with under? Under thunder, thunder. All right, our next sight word is quit. Let's spell quit, quit, Q U I T, quit. What word rhymes with quit? Quit and hit. Don't hit me, don't hit the screen, you might break it. Quit and hit. And what word? What word is this? Soon. Let's spell soon. Soon. S O O N. Soon. What word rhymes with soon? Fly me to the moon. Moon. Soon. Moon. Boys and girls, what word rhymes with nine? What word rhymes with nine? Mine, mine. This is mine, but we're gonna. This is mine, but this is nine. So let's spell nine. Nine. N I N E. Nine. Thank you for being in room nine. Have a great weekend. Bye bye. Teaching in Room 9 is made possible with support of Bank of America, Dana Brown Charitable Trust, Emerson, and viewers like you.